What's going on, y'all? Uh, Corwin L. Gilliams here from CLG Lifestyle. Hope you guys are feeling blessed and grateful to be alive because guess what? Some people did not wake up today. So definitely give thanks in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, in your spirit. God hears everything, sees everything, and it's a blessing to be able to say thank you you know for whatever you can say thank you for you know your breathing all of that good stuff so yeah if you've not already subscribed to the platform go ahead and do so right now that way you can stay connected to what it is that i do as a lifestyle influencer influencing you to love self so the message or the title of this video is going to be I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, but it has to do with breakthrough and blessings. Those are the two words that are that are definitely going to be in the title of this video. And so, no, uh, uh, blessing and blessing, blessing, breakthrough, and shame or disgrace or embarrassment. So, many of you know the story of Jesus Christ, right? And how, you know, he had to go through the walk of shame or seasons of, or season of disgrace, right? But that didn't happen until his time had come. He kept on saying, you know, throughout his um, ministry, when it came to certain requests, his response would be, my time has not yet come. So in this case, his time had not yet come for his enemies to show their tail, right? For them to really show what they're about. It didn't matter how many times they felt like they wanted to kill him, how many times they plotted the evil things that they said. It wasn't until the father had designated the time for his arrest and for them to do what they did right that um that they were allowed to do it so before that embarrassment before that season of shame and embarrassment right um no so after excuse me after the shame the disgrace and the embarrassment came the exaltation right came the glory came the riches and the wealth came him seated with God, the Father Almighty, right? The word of God coming to pass. Sit at my right hand um, as I make your enemies your footstool, right? All of these things came after his willful obedience, right? And ultimately fulfilling the will of the Father for his life. Now, this relates to you. What is it that you have to go through right now as far as quote-unquote embarrassment and shame and disgrace that you need to go through, that you have to go through, but for whatever reasons you're afraid because you are concerned with the opinions of people um, and all the things associated with people pleasing and, you know, being afraid, you know, when it comes to people's opinions, especially about your past and the things that you went through that God has delivered you from. And God is desiring to use your testimony as a breakthrough, right? As a breakthrough, as healing, as inspiration, as motivation for people who are going through the same things that you're going through. But again, because you are afraid, because you are concerned more about the opinions of people rather than obedience to your heavenly father, you are, you know, um, holding back. You are suppressing, oppressing, you know, the wisdom, the knowledge, the truths, the, the, the experiences, the testimonies that will have some people be delivered, right? So, it wasn't until the obedience, um, this specific part of obedience, Right? Because it's, it's easy for us to say yes to God when it comes to the easy things. But what about the hard things? What about the things that requires us to carry our cross, right? So, it just may be you're dealing with certain situations when it comes to financial 
um, distress, relational distress, residential distress, <laughs> um, depression, mental, uh, quote unquote, issues, simply because you are not living freely. You're not embodying the grace that God has given you to speak the truth, speak about your experiences, speak about the things that he delivered you from, speak about the things that he placed in your heart that may be too, um, it may be too, you know, maybe embarrassing, maybe too shameful for you to, 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 to talk about, but God will give you the strength. He will give you the, the, the power and the might to do it. So never forget, I forget sometimes too. He is made weak, he's made strong in our weakness. And at the end of the day, it's not by might, not by power, but by his spirit. So maybe it's pride taking control. Maybe it's a false perspective of self that is taking precedence over the truth about who you are. The redeemed of the Lord, okay? Saved by grace. Seated with Christ in heavenly places. So, um, yeah, so breakthrough, there's a... There's oftentimes uh, a season or uh, a season or a um, some experiences that entails you that entails shame and disgrace, but it's not to break you, right? It's to make you stronger. It's to reveal the power and the love of God in your life. Um, it's to really test your faith as you're going through the furnace. But you're not going to come out, you know, destroyed. You're going to come out refined because you've been tested, tried, right, and true. And as a result of this, you know, God is not a man that he should lie. And nothing about God is duplicitous or false. So oftentimes we have to go through things, not because um, God is hard on us, but it's because it's just his ways. It's just his ways. And oftentimes we've been programmed to be everything except the child of god and so now that we're coming into our right identity we're opposing or we are resistant to god's ways because we've been programmed to subscribe to the enemy's ways so that so that process of transformation in itself can be a work but it's a work that the lord has done over and over and over and over, and over again nothing is new under the sun um what has been given to you has been a what has been allowed for you to experience it may not have necessarily been God's will, but God may have allowed it because at the end of the day, he's going to get the glory for it all. So I would like for us to take more accountability and responsibility for our walk, for our faith walk, and always consult with God about everything, you know. Um, go to God over and over and over and over again until you are assured in your spirit that this is what God wants you to do. So with that being said, I want to, again, thank you for supporting um, this a series of, of disgrace and humility and, and shame that you have to go through. Let me rephrase that. There are times of disgrace, especially in your, in your beginning stages of your spiritual walk, times of disgrace and shame that you have to go through because, you know, to whom much is given, much is required, and your character has to be tested, your strength has to be tested, your endurance has to be developed. And if you don't go through anything, how can your character be exposed? How can things be exposed that you will have to take accountability for and say to God, God, I don't like this thing about me, I don't like how I feel, I don't like this, whatever, whatever, so that God can now begin to work on you. So um, these are things that you have to, again, just be grateful, there's always an opportunity to find uh, gratitude in in the um, in the in the moments where we feel like all hell is breaking loose. But at the end of the day, if God be for you, who can be against you? All things work out for the good of those who love God and are called according to His perfect promises. So um, go through it. Go through that fire. Go through that furnace. Um, you're going to get your breakthrough and as a result of the breakthrough you're going to receive the blessings the blessings that's been 
waiting for you on the other side. With that being said, I am Corwin L. Gilliams. Check the description box to see how you can support CLG Lifestyle and Flow Material Love Talk to you guys soon.